not you telling the fragrance bye. No, I'm Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back. Today, I'm sharing with you one, two, three, four. Five, okay, yes, five fragrances that I think would be amazing this spring, this summer. Two of them will be amazing for wedding day fragrances. Okay, one of them is not really for spring or summer. It's just in here, but I wanna share it with you anyway. A few of these fragrances I was sent over by the fragrance group, so thank you so much to Soa Vanguard for sending these over. We love and appreciate you over here. Thank you so much, so everything, you guys. Everything that I'm sharing with you today, I do have a discount code for. The discount code is Sheree 20 I will link that in the description box as well as flash it across the screen. So if you see anything that you might want to pick up, make sure you shop down in the description box below and don't forget to use my code. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, go ahead and take 2.5 seconds, stop what you're doing, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and do not forget to come over and follow me on Instagram because as I say all the time, whenever you don't see me over here, I'm definitely scrolling on the gram. So make sure you come over, introduce yourself, say hi. A quick 2.5, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I had two cups of coffee and stop judging me. Let me tell you about this new coffee that I found at Starbucks. I just stumbled upon it. I go to Starbucks all the time. Like I am a huge Starbucks girl. I absolutely love coffee. I absolutely love Starbucks, right? So I'm going in, I pull in the, the drive through, what have you. I'm sick of getting my same drink. You know how you're just over it? You're like, I want, wait, hold on. Okay, I just had, cause this shirt is kind of low and <laughs> you know, we don't do that kind of life over here. But anyways, you know how you are sick and tired of having your same drink. At least I am. I'm like, okay, I want something new. I typically change it through the seasons. I get a, my favorite drink is a, Caramel, no, no, no. It is a tall, non-fat, extra hot, extra foam latte made with blonde, two Splendas, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I normally get that in a tall and a grande, depending on how I'm feeling. My next drink is a, <laughs> is a nitro. It's a cold brew nitro. Those are my favorite, right? But I'm sick of those, so I want something different. So I pull on the line, and I ask the lady, what's new, what should I try? And she goes, oh my God, have you tried the brown sugar oat milk? Um, espresso, and I'm like, no, it didn't even sound tasty. First of all, brown sugar, oatmeal. I tried that life. I was like, ah, no. She goes, I promise you, you're gonna like it. So I said, okay, well, what are the calories? She said about 140. And she said, but I really wanna give it to you in its best way. And I go, what do you mean? She goes, that's where we put the cream on top, the, the sweet cream on top. And then I go, okay, so is that more calories? And she's like, yeah. She said, but it's totally worth it. You gotta try it. And I know I couldn't afford those calories, you guys. I knew, okay, I am trying, okay? So I'm like, I really can't afford the calories, but I really wanna try the drink in its best, in its entirety. So she goes, let me make it for you. So she made it for me. I went up to the front, took two sips, you guys. I am hooked, I am sold. It is my new favorite summer spring drink. So I just wanted to share it with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, because I already shared that story with you. I will link the name of the drink down in the comment section below, because I know I kind of butchered it. It's brown sugar, oat milk, four pumps of blonde, espresso all i'm gonna say is that it's good good all right on to the video i just had to share you know i like sharing things with you guys those of you that are not following me on instagram you would have never known so i had to bring it back here and share it with my friends on youtube jumping into the first fragrance this is cassiopeia this is by tensiana terenzi this is absolutely amazing it is beautiful it is sexy it is classy it is fruity it's great with longevity it's a good 8 to 10 to 12 hours you know that's how tensiana terenzi does Beautiful bottle, the attention to detail, the cap is actually beautiful. Hopefully you can see that there. I know my lights are bright, but this is a beautiful fragrance. Passion fruit, lemon, it has tea rose, it has lily of the valley, musk, tonka beans, sandalwood, you name it, you guys. This fragrance right here is really, really good. When I first got it in my collection, I played with it. I said it's perfect for spring, it's, per it's perfect for spring. I can never talk. It's perfect for spring, it's perfect for summer. It is a very, Beautiful fragrance and I absolutely love it. It's very pretty. You know what I mean? If you were going somewhere and someone said, hey, um, let's go out and you didn't know what to reach for, you know, that's how I feel about Baccarat a lot. That's why I always gravitate and reach for that because it's one of those I don't have to think. I just know that if I put it on, it's gonna last. I may not be able to smell it, but the people around me will. And I'm gonna smell good. That's what this is. It's an easy reach. It's really pretty. Um, I find that it could be worn, you know, basically anywhere. I mean, you could, 
You can wear it on a date night. It is very sexy enough to be worn on a date night. Very sexy enough. Could we make that work? We just did. It's sexy enough to be worn on a date night, especially like a 7, 37, 45, almost eight o'clock date. You can make that work. You can definitely wear it in the day, in the night, uh, brunch, church, work. It's definitely signature scent worthy. If you have not gotten a whiff of Cassiopeia by Tinsiana Terenzi, it is one to experience, you guys. Notice I'm saying experience, because not everything you need to buy that somebody recommends recommends, but it's definitely worth a whiff and it's definitely worth experiencing. I would highly recommend. I move on. Another one, and I talk to you guys about this one all the time. It looks the same, you guys. I promise it's not. This is Andromeda, another one by Tensiana Terenzi that I think would be beautiful for spring, for summer. It's a beautiful wedding day scent. Both of these are. Um, it's just a beautiful scent. Now, when I first got it, for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you already know. I was like, I don't know where to compartmentalize this because as soon as I got it, of course I was going out on date night. Hello, what else does she do with her life? So I wanted to put it in the date night category. Category. However, it did not deliver for me for date night, especially coming off of my heavy hitters like Tom Ford or something that would be a little bit more in your face, Killian's Angel Shares, stuff like that, right? This is a little bit lighter in the realm of compared to those and it just didn't fit there, but I placed it in a brunch date and it was Fabulous. It was absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. A few of the notes, you guys, Ylang Ylang, it's got some everything in it, okay? Jasmine, bergamot, it has cut green grass, peach, pear blossom, uh, lily of the valley, heliotrope, violet, like I said, some of everything. Coconut, vanilla, sugar. Uh, does it have ebony in it? Yes, ebony, amber. It's a beautiful fragrance. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's a beautiful fragrance and it lasts forever. That is one thing that I love about Tensiana Terenzi's fragrances are they don't disappoint when it comes to longevity, when it comes to a siage, when it comes to coming through the door, the fragrance is not gonna leave you. It's gonna be along for the night. It's gonna be along for the ride. It's not like those shady friends when you wondering what happened to you, like where were you at? And it was like, oh, um, girl, bye, okay? <laughs> Not you telling the fragrance bye. No, I'm just saying it's not one of those. This fragrance is gonna be with you. It is gonna stay with you through the test of time. I wrote myself a note here. Beautiful wedding day fragrance, pretty girl fragrance. Good eight to 10 to 12 hours. This is a unisex fragrance as well. However, I feel in all honesty, to me it leans feminine to me and my opinion i'm entitled to that it's my opinion i can I, I can do that you know what i mean it does lean feminine to me but it is so beautiful if you're getting married and you guys keep asking girl when are you gonna have the um wedding video out i'm gonna have it out but i will link the one that i did last year around this time i'm gonna link it in this video so check the bottom because my fragrances probably have stayed the same this is on the list as well this would be a beautiful wedding day fragrance and and not only would it be a beautiful wedding day fragrance it wouldn't be one that you would have to go and change and go refresh in and go touch up. I mean, it's your wedding day. Do you really want to be carrying around a little decant? Absolutely not. This would fit the bill. I move on. All right, let's talk about another one. Now, this one is new to my collection. Um, I wanted to share those with you because I think they're absolutely beautiful. And if you can save 20% off on them, why not? This one here is new to my collection. And one of you, oh my God, I can't remember her name right now. Grow, you watch all the videos and we talk all the time over on Instagram. You know who you are. When they first, when uh, Soya Vanguard first announced that they were getting Clive Christian fragrances, the first thing you asked me is like, what do you think about da 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 And I was like, um, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. It kind of has like reminisce, so many have said of um, CK1. So I did request it as I told you I would so that I could play with it. And and I am here to spill the tea, honey, okay? I am here to spill the tea. I know they said that it smells like CK1. Um, they said it smells like, you know, aftershave, fresh, clean, laundry. No, Abs mm, no. No, 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 That's not what it smells like. I am talking about Clive Christian. This is 1872 and this is the feminine. This is this one here. The bottle is beautiful. The bottle is luxe. We know how Clive Christian does. It just has a way of making us feel some type of way. And this, look at the, the dent already. And this fragrance definitely made me feel some type of way. You guys. I will give you this. I will give you this. We'll get into the notes and then we're going to talk about it. Let's give it a couple of minutes on this one here. It's not groundbreaking, earth shattering. I've never smelled anything like it before. Um, it's the first I was like knocked over like, oh my God, I'm fangirling over it. It wasn't that experience. It was nice. It was pleasant. It was beautiful. 
Um, let's talk about the notes and then we'll go into it a little bit more. Citrus, fruity, floral. Uh, it's a fresh fragrance, you guys. Bergamot, rosemary is what it has in it. Tangerine, pineapple, lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, orchid, freesia. It has violet, sandalwood, patchouli, oak moss in the base note as well. It's not the longest when it comes to longevity. It gave me a good six hours, moderately, I would say. It's a moderate fragrance. I did spray heavy, I did spray my clothes. Let's be clear with that. It's moderate. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance. Smells like money. <laughs> it smells like, it smells like money. That's what I got from it. I got money, money, rich vibes, luxe vibes, whatever you would want to say to sum up how, you know, somebody well polished, well put together, um, looks and smells like amazing, like money. I would put this in that category. If I do a fragrance video on how to smell rich or how to smell like money, this fragrance would be up at the top. That's what it gave me, that's what it made me feel. Like I said, I would wear this day or night. Um, it's not a huge, sexy, beast fragrance. Nice atomizer there, finely distributed, evenly missed, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful fragrance. It's just, it's a fresh, it's a fresh, clean, kind of, the rosemary and the bergamot in the opening that you really get but i just a man woman boy child human definitely i get a unisex fragrance because if a man <laughs> wore this and he picked me up and i got in the car he would have had to open the door for me okay and i would have gotten the car and sat down and i would have looked over at him and, you know greeted him with the hi how you doing you know and he smelled like this i would be like okay He's about that life. He gets me. He has it together. That's just what I would have perceived from his fragrance because that's what the vibes that it's giving. That's what it smells like to me. So I absolutely love it. I wrote myself some notes. I said it smells like money. Day or night, spring, summer, um, it would be a good occasion. Date night, I would definitely see somebody rocking this, but real sexy, sexy? No, but you know how somebody cannot look that sexy? Oh my God, here she goes. You know how somebody cannot look that sexy or not be that sexy, but you know that they're just about it and they just smell good that you turn around and give them that double take like, eh, well, maybe. You know what I mean? It's one of those. When you smell it, it's just like you want to turn around and do a double, double take. You want to get that second look. You want to see, could I? Perhaps, maybe. You know, it's one of those. It's really, really good. It's definitely worth experiencing. It's definitely worth getting a whiff of to me. This is Clive Christian. This is 1872. That's been hugely and widely compared to CK1. To me, not at all. Maybe a little bit. The fresh opening, I get it. But this definitely warrants more of a refined, luxurious, classy, type of fragrance to me. I mean, I, I don't get the wateriness that CK1 gave. I don't get, um, I just don't get that vibe. I do, I do see it. I do see it. Let me make mention of that. But I don't, I don't really get it. You know what I mean? I could see how they could be distant relatives, but they're not really twins and they're not really cousins. It's not a dupe for it. It's just like a very fresh, clean fragrance as that one is. But this is definitely giving Lux vibe. I know, I know I went in with this one, you guys, but I really like this. I do. I don't want it to be my sin of the day, but oh, it's good. It's good. So my friend over on Instagram that we chat all the time, wow, it's really, really good. I would say get a whiff of it. Check on Soy Vanguard. I believe they have samples. I would definitely say it's worth experiencing. I move on. I almost lost it with that one. That one was good, good. Okay, now this is another one. Now this one is the one in the group out of the five that I said would probably definitely not be for spring. To me, when I sprayed it, I just got let's cuddle by the fireplace. Are you staying the night or am I going to your place? Shall I pack a bag or do you need to get yours? You know what I mean? It was one of those. It was sexy. Yes, yes, yes. It was sexy. And you already know I love a good sexy fragrance. I love dating. I love like the whole... <sighs> Don't say it, Sheree. Don't say it. Don't say it. Some things you you just can't share everything. You know what I mean? But those of you who know, I know you got that. Just hit it in the like button if you got where I was going with that. And if you didn't get it, hit the subscribe button. Come back. I promise you, you'll get it. It really doesn't matter over here. We just hit buttons, okay? This one here is by, oh my God, let me show you the bottle. Let me show you the box. Let me show you the bottle. This is by... Fragrance Dubois Zoli. And if you know anything about their fragrances, you know how they come packaged. So beautiful, so luxurious. I absolutely love it. And I've already taken the fragrance out, you guys. What sits inside of this beautiful coffin is Secret Tryst. I believe I'm saying that right. I Googled it, you guys. Don't come for me. Secret Tryst. I believe that is it. It is 
sexy. Oh my God, it's sexy. It's so sexy. The downside right out the gate is that it's not very long lasting. It gave me a good five and a half, six hours, maybe, and I'm pushing it with six hours. It is a 2021 release. It is a unisex fragrance. It is the Extrait de Parfum version as well. It is a warm, amber, spicy type of fragrance. A few of the notes in this fragrance is saffron, bergamot, cardamom, jasmine, vetiver, rose, and cedar. And it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Like I said, it would be perfect for me for fall, for winter, for early spring, like right now, like in the crunch of spring. Can I say that crunch of spring? We did. Anyways, in the like the beginning, the nook of, of spring, you can get away with this, especially if it was going to be an evening date. This to me is more of an evening date. It's more of a kind of formal, fancy, dressier kind of a fragrance in my opinion. It's beautiful. It's, it's good. It's good and it's sexy. Now I'm going to say this as well. This is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful, you guys. The packaging is beautiful. If you know anything about Fragrance Du Bois, they know how to do fragrances. It is luxury refined fragrance at its finest, at its best. Top notch when it comes to packaging, when it comes to, you know, their fragrances, they're unique, they're different. However, in my opinion, I feel that someone asked, what would this be compared to? And as I did some research, it would be compared to uh, Nishane Ani. It would be compared to Oud Satin Mood. It would be by MFK. It will be compared to Killian Angel Share, some have said. It will be compared to BDK, Grizz Charnel. It would also be compared to Tom Ford Rose Prick. It's in that realm of a fragrance. Does it smell identical, a dupe for any of those like that? No, it doesn't. But if you're wanting something to compare to what family, you know, it's in of a fragrance, I would say I would categorize it and that family of a fragrance, it's really good though. Super, super sexy, okay? And you know, when it warrants this kind of smile on my face, it's doing something right. It transported me, I automatically went to a nice date night. And that's why I said you can get away with it right now because especially if you sit outside where there was a breeze, like an ocean breeze, oh God, you guys. Another quick 2.5. I went to dinner the other night and I went in Malibu um, to, what was it, Mastro's? Mastro's, the Ocean Club. <sighs> the fragrance I wore, I wore like Tom Ford Rose Prick with my combination mixed with Oud Satin Mood. I smelled so amazing. And when you're out and the water is blowing and your hair is blowing in the wind, you get a whiff of your fragrance, that is so sexy. So if you're with someone, a quick tip, come in, come in, come in. If you're with someone and you wanna wow him or her or whoever they are, right? You walk in front, you know what I mean? You walk in front, especially if it's a breezy night or a breezy evening or what have you. You walk in front and walk with a purpose, with some passion, with a lot of confidence, you know what I mean? Head held high and you're strutting, right? And then that fragrance is hitting them in the back and they are wondering a few things. What they're wondering, I can't tell you. All I know is what the person I was with was wondering. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Anyways, um, you guys, yeah, this right here is a beautiful fragrance. If you need something in your life, sexy, okay? Like I said, it's not really a spring fragrance. I definitely get more fall, winter, but this is worth an experience. I move on. <coughs> Sticking with the house of Fragrance Du Bois, another one that was recently released. Well, it's a 2021 release is this one here. I left it in the packaging for you to see it. You guys, just look at this. You know, you know, you know, you know. Oh my gosh, they just get it right. It's so good. This one is called London Spice. This is good. This is really good. This one is called London Spice, another unisex fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. It has a little bit of everything in it. And I literally mean everything, you guys. It is a fresh, spicy, white floral fragrance. Bergamot lemon. It does have lavender in it. Jasmine, nutmeg, patchouli cedar and cardamom are a few of the notes it's a great great fragrance especially for spring and summer if you want to smell inviting if you want to smell refreshing if you want to smell clean if you want to smell a little spicy but still you know well put together not too sweet and that's what i love about it it's not too sweet of a fragrance this is one to experience i put down here uh, for me it's more of an aromatic fragrance aromatic Am I saying that right? It's more of an aromatic fragrance. It's fresh, it's clean. It's a tad bit sexy. It's an easy reach. It's a dressy reach, morning, night, noon. Um, it's definitely can fit the bill. It could be a signature scent, a work scent. 
It's good. It's good. It smells like, okay, but in my honest opinion, honest and honest of opinions, it's honest of honest opinions. It says it's a unisex fragrance. For me, I definitely can smell this on a man. I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe I need to go. I, I'm going out with my guy after this, you guys. I've missed him, hello? So I'm just smelling like guy. <laughs> Babe, I'm like smelling you up here. Um, But yeah, that that's what it is. Like, it just gives me like a nice, sexy man vibe. But I definitely wore this and played with this myself and it smelled good on me as well. It is a good fragrance. It is really, really good. I mean, I didn't take any hits in this uh, fragrance haul or fragrance impressions or whatever it's called, you guys. I haven't decided what I'm gonna name the video yet. But this is really good. Every single fragrance I received was a hitter. Every single fragrance I receive should be experienced. This is definitely worth an experience. It's definitely worth a whiff. I told you when it comes to longevity, it gave me about a six hour, um, performance it performed for about six hours it's a moderate fragrance it's not a beast mode it's not a heavy hitter it's not going to be with you through the test of time but it will be there and as it sits on the body it does lighten up it doesn't give a big projection or anything like that but if you go in and smell yourself you will get a whiff of it it does not turn into a skin scent so it doesn't dry down into a skin scent you're not going to have to wonder if you applied fragrance or not it's just not a beast heavy hitter and in the spring and the summer you don't really need everything to be or at least i know i don't at least I'm finding that out. Trust me in all honesty, I want everything to be a heavy hitter. But I am finding out like sometimes it's just not necessary. So I am doing a softer side of Sheree where I am trying fragrances that are not as beast mode and as heavy and in your face. And so this right here would be a great, great, um, or it is a great addition to my collection because I don't have fragrances that are more uh, soft and fresh and you know, aromatic and things like that. But this is, and this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So I highly recommend getting a whiff of it. Huge thank you to So Avantgarde, the fragrance group for sending these over. I truly appreciate you. As I stated, you guys, I do have a discount code. It will be down in the description box below. Use my name, Sheree20, to save some money, save some coins off on these fragrances. And if you have any questions, do not forget to leave them down in the description box below. And I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, Dolly. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.